NBA is getting ready to start. We're about a week and a half away from the restart of the NBA. However, every, everything isn't running smooth. We know Zion recently had to leave the bubble. Montrez Harrell had to leave the bubble. Uh, Rashawn Holmes from the Kings, he left the bubble to get pickup food, uh, takeout food for some reason. Um, Westbrook Yo. just tested positive for COVID, but he should be ready in time to go. Uh, James cool. Harden received a lot of backlash for the mask he was wearing, uh, which was a, a promotion of Blue Lives Matter. Trip, w- what is going on with the NBA? Where do we stand right now? Let me let me just say this for Sean Holmes. You're lucky you're even in the bubble, bro. Because, first of all, we know damn well the Kings wasn't making no playoffs. So you are lucky to even be in a bubble. But in a bubble. So don't you be the reason that we don't have an NBA season because you want to go out and get some damn fast food. I'm, I'm sorry. As far as Zion and, and Montrez, those are family emergencies, medical emergencies. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not. I'm, I'm okay with that. I understand it. Um, you know, I wish I wish Westbrook, um, I hope he has a speedy recovery and is back because I'm really looking forward to uh, to seeing, you know, this season resume. Um, yeah, as far as James Harden goes, he spoke on it. You know, he said it wasn't any type of political statement. He had just had the mask on because it covered his beard. We're going we're gonna to have to send James Harden some masks that, that cover his beard so he don't have to get, get consumed in the controversy. We're going to have to either get him to shoot the shit mask or the real fans, real talk mask. We got to make one for the, for the fellas when they got the big beards. So you don't have to worry, worry about that, that anymore. But yeah, there's so much just going on right now with the NBA. And I'm just like, listen, July 31st is fast approaching. I really want us to get to that date and start this season. Please, let's not do anything that's going to, to jeopardize that, especially for Rashawn, Rashawn Holmes. Bruh, you, you jumping all the way up. You're not even nice like that. I'm sorry. I'm just going to call it one. <laughs> You're not even one of those guys. If you don't see LeBron, Giannis, or one of them dudes doing that, are you out of your damn mind? You going out for, for takeout food? Really, bro? You you mean to tell me that your your life is hurt that much by the food that, that, they, that they have inside the bubble that you're willing to risk it all, not only for yourself, but you're willing to risk it all for your teammates, your organization, the other 21 teams that are in the bubble, the staff and everybody that's in the bubble, just to get some fast food. I don't understand it. For the most part, most of the guys, especially the minority guys in the NBA, they come from humble beginnings. They come from poverty-stricken neighborhoods. So I know damn well, you, shoot, you, you might have had worse food than that growing up, depending on, on, on how, you know what I'm saying, how much of the struggle that you and your family was in. So you can't tell me that you could not sacrifice for a couple of weeks so that we can get this thing going, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to say, all right, you know what, I'm not going to do no recklessness. Well, and, 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 of course, listen, once y'all start speaking up, all you got to do is speak to the, you know, speak to the commissioner. Just let him know, listen, this food here ain't working. We got to do better. I'm pretty sure Adam Silver says, okay, we'll figure something out with the food. And, by the, you know, by the time July 31st is, Everything is, is taken care of, you know, as far as the food goes anyway. Because that's, that's a small, small, minor thing. You know what I mean? I, look, let's just get there. That's all I'm asking. Let's just get there. I agree. I think a conversation with Adam Silver could solve all that. But in, in the simplest form, if you're ordering from any one of these uh, delivery services, and we're not going to say your name to you. I got to check for real fans, real talk. But uh, if, you're deli- if, if you're getting from any one of these services, you could have easily slipped the guy at the front desk twenty dollars and say, "Hey, look, can you just uh pick up my food for me over there? Cause I just can't go to that area. You know, can you get that food for me real quick?" And they would have done it. This is a very simple fix. It's very stupid of Rashawn Holmes to do this, um, and and maybe stupid is too harsh, but it's very foolish of him to do this, knowing how long it took to get everything back in place, and also knowing, as you mentioned, that the Kings have very slim hopes of playing more than these eight games within the bubble. So don't put this uh don't put your your opportunity at risk don't put your next contract at risk by doing something so foolish that people don't want to mess with you Simple as especially that. especially when and i'm not going to blame this the the stopping of the season on on rudy gobert but when we saw how foolish his actions were and the backlash and everything that came along with that you got to use your brain for more than a hat rack brother i'm sorry as, as my grandmother would say use your brain for more than a hat rack 
Nah, that, that's a great point. Uh, Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought. 